But hey guys, Andos here, hope you're all having a good day. In today's topic, we'll be talking about how to get better at aiming in Call of Duty Warzone or just any first person shooter game in general. So, in this video, we'll be talking about how we can utilize aim trainers to greatly improve your aiming mechanics within a short period of time. I will give you some insights on the most efficient ways to train your aim what aim trainers you should utilize for the maximum results. So by the end of this video, you should be able to dramatically improve your aiming mechanics in Call of Duty Warzone. I will go into detail in regards to the correct way to train your aim, also the correct way to track your progress, just so you don't make the same mistakes I did, so you can progress much faster. I guarantee that if you are serious about improving your aiming mechanics in Warzone or just gaming in general, if you're willing to put in the time, you will definitely improve by how much though so that is dependent on you. So please stay until the very end for all the tips and insights as I will try to cover everything you will need to know about aim trainers. Also before we begin and get into the meaty stuff, if you notice throughout the video that this information does help you, if you can smash that like button that would be great. And if you guys enjoy Warzone content or just tips and tricks videos in general, also subscribe to my YouTube channel Andos Gaming so you don't miss out on any future videos. So okay, let's begin. Disclaimer. Aim trainers are predominantly on PC. I myself use a mouse and keyboard, so during this video, I will be using a mouse and keyboard as an example. I can only speak from my experience. For console players, I did do some research and I found one in beta that looks quite good in my opinion, very similar to aim trainers on PC. I'll leave the link in the description for more information if you are on console. The aim trainer that I would highly recommend is Kovac. It is one of the most popular aim trainers on the market today. Trusted by thousands of players, including current and former professionals, Kovac 2 is one of the best aim trainers in the game at the moment. With customizable playlists with over 5,500 plus scenarios, guided training, performance analysis, realistic physics, and more. Yeah, it's never been easier to become a human aimbot. You can download Kovacs on Steam today and you'll see that it has a lot of positive reviews. It does cost around $14.50, that's in Australian dollars, but I think it's worth every penny. I'm not sponsored by Kovac in any way, I just highly recommend Kovac as I think it's a really good product. And if you are serious about improving your aiming mechanics, I, I really think it's an easy purchase, but I will leave that up to you guys. Tip number one is to read the Kovacs FPS Aim Trainer Guide written by Aimer7. So before you even begin, I recommend reading Aimer7's Kovac routine document. I will leave a link in the description so please have a look guys. This guy is really blunt and straight to the point, however he knows what he's talking about. He's infamous in the aim trainer world and this document is kind of like a bible. He's an ex-competitive player and one of the top first person shooter coaches in the world. So yeah, he knows his stuff. In the document he mentions that talent can help you, but that can only get you so far. If you're willing to put in the hard work and with the correct training methods, you'll be able to ascend your aiming mechanics and easily stand out from the general population. I will go over the most important things you'll need to know so you don't have to read the whole thing word for word and give you insights on what adjustments you can make to train efficiently. I think everyone is different so please use this video as a guide and do what works for you as well. Tip number two is to focus what you want to improve on. So in this document, it has three choices of routine, tracking, click timing, or both. So this is where you need to decide what you want to focus on. So tracking, this is preferred aiming style of games with longer TTKs or time to kill weapons. These games are like Warzone, Apex Legends, or Overwatch. Good tracking skills can enable you to keep your crosshair on the enemy efficiently. Personally, I think the tracking routine is very beneficial for Warzone because the time to kill in this game is very long and there's a lot of engagements from mid to far range where you need to track the enemy to get those kills. So click timing, I call it flicking, is normally involves a single shot, ideally to the head or another critical area. In regards to this routine, it will improve your sniping skills. Being able to flick to the enemy's head is a skill that all elite snipers should have. For me personally, I chose the tracking routine as I don't really snipe, um, it's not my cup of tea and I'm just a really bad sniper. To my benefit though, I was able to focus 100% on tracking so I saw some improvements there. It is up to you, do what works for you and choose a specific category that you want to work on. 
So once you have chosen your category, so what you do now is start with your routine. So the goal is to get down all the way to the bottom and progress through the levels. I recommend starting at complete beginner if this is your first time using aim trainers. However, if you are finding it too easy, happy for you to start at the intermediate beginner level. Tip number three, I recommend only training 30 to 40 minutes per session. I know it does say to train two to three hours a day. However, most of us have very busy lives. This is just not sustainable. I know a lot of us have full-time jobs and we're also gaming on the side. So I think that 30 minutes a day or per session is a sweet spot. You're still improving and you're not being burnt out at the same time. However, please do what works for you. Tip number four is to track your progress. I recommend tracking everything in an Excel. As you can see here, I track all of my results. The format on the way you track your progress is up to you, but just make sure you track everything. What you want to do is track your averages per day and your scores, and this will tell you how much you're improving or if you've plateaued. Do not solely focus on high scores. It's very important to focus on your averages. If your average score is improving, that means that you're getting better. If you don't have Excel, you can use the online version like myself. It's free to use. I'll leave a link in the description. So tracking your progress can be very beneficial. It's very good in a way where you can track the improvements that you've made. Another important note is when you plateau, you'll know. So you can make changes accordingly. Tip number five, where to focus your eyes when aiming. According to Aimer7 and what he's written in his document, when the target is close, you wanna keep your eyes on the target specifically. When the target is at a far range, you want to keep your eyes focused on the crosshair. I have tested this theory and it does work. Amos 7 does know what he's talking about. Just a friendly reminder, if you are finding this video helpful at all, or if you're enjoying it, please drop a like, that will be much appreciated. Leave a comment below if you are thinking about using Kovacs. And lastly, if you do enjoy tips and tricks and educational Warzone videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Andos Gaming, so you don't miss out on any future content. Tip number six is mouse grip. Finding the right mouse grip is very important. So what's good about Kovacs is you have a score to give you feedback. So try to play around with a few mouse grips and see what works best for you. So tip number seven is to find your optimal sitting position. A lot of people think the closer your face is to the screen, the better you will aim. This is just not the case. Try to find a comfortable and consistent sitting position. So tip number eight is find your optimal arm resting position. So I like to have my forearm on my table just so I have a bit more control. Again, play around with the guys, but try to find your optimal arm resting position. Uh, tip number nine, try to be smooth with your mouse movements. Focus on being accurate and the speed will come later. This will benefit you in the long run and your scores will have better results. Tip number 10, adjust your settings to match your game specifically. In our case, that's Warzone. So as you can see here, this is my settings in Kovacs at the moment. We don't have a template for Warzone, but please choose Overwatch as they will have the same settings. This is your sensitivity. Mine is 4.5. Click this as lock. FOV measurements, uh, just put it as horizontal 16.9. Your FOV is 100 and your max FPS, I just put mine as 300. So just a final bonus tip, I recommend incorporating three extra scenarios to help you specifically with Warzone. So the first scenario is long goaded for the mid to far range battles. Second scenario is ascended tracking for switching between enemies. And the third scenario is pat target switch for practicing those headshots. So these are the three scenarios I would highly recommend incorporating into your routine to help you specifically with Warzone. So coming to the end of the video, I just wanna share some thoughts about Kovacs. Please be patient. Disclaimer, you will get frustrated and you will hit some walls. However, keep at it and try to be consistent. Improvement is a beautiful thing. Working hard and getting better at things is a good feeling. And yeah, I do hope you consider doing some aim training and that if you do, you enjoy the process and you get better as well. I hope you enjoyed this video with all this information provided. You should be able to improve your aim within a short period of time. I think I made the big mistake when I first started training. I was just doing it aimlessly. No pun intended. So I hope this video does help. If you learned anything useful, smash that like button. That would be appreciated. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Endos Gaming. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.